guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the 8 most important must-have Japanese condiments. Of course there are tons and tons of different kinds of Japanese seasonings and condiments, but these 8 are probably the most commonly used and if you're cooking any sort of Japanese food, these are the ones that you're going to want to have. Alright, let's start. The first one is shoyu or soy sauce. Shoyu is made of soybeans and wheat and salt that has been fermented for several months. Generally, they're separated into two categories, light and dark, and they are used in different foods as well as originated from different regions. Shoyu is super, super common. It's used in so many things, and I'm sure that almost everyone, whether you're in Japan or outside of it, has had it before. Number two is cooking sake. Cooking sake like regular sake, is made from rice and water. The use of sake in cooking is very, very similar to how wine is used in cooking. It's often used in marinades for meat or fish because it tenderizes it and also gets rid of the smell. It also adds umami and a slightly sweet flavor due to the rice. There is sake that is specifically made for cooking and it is like not good for drinking, it doesn't taste good, but when cooking you could also use absolutely any sake you want. Cheap sake, expensive sake, it is completely up to you. You don't just have to use cooking grade sake. Number three is my favorite, mirin. It is sort of branching off of cooking sake as mirin is a sweet cooking rice wine. It is sweet and syrupy and used as a seasoning or as a glazing agent. So like how in teriyaki sauce is sort of glazy, that is because of mirin. It is similar to cooking sake, but it has a lower alcohol content. This also tenderizes and adds a sweetness, and I just love, love, love the sweetness that meeting has. Number four is rice vinegar. So compared to western vinegar, it is milder and it also is a little bit sweeter since it's made from rice. This has antibacterial properties, so it's often used in Japanese dishes that have raw fish, seafood, or meat. Number five, another favorite of mine, it is miso. Miso is a fermented soybean paste. It's made from soybeans, grains, salt, and koji, which is a natural fermentation starter. They ferment the ingredients in cedar cakes for about half a year to five years. There are tons of kinds of miso depending on the specific ingredients, how long it's fermented, and even like regionally where it comes from. But it's usually categorized by three things. Ingredients, for example, like rice or koji. Color, like red or white miso. And taste, like sweeter or salty. And aside from using it just in miso soup, I like to use it in other dishes. I love marinating fish in it. It's really actually quite versatile. Number six is dashi. Dashi is a seafood based stock made from kombu, which is dried kelp, and katsobushi, which is dried bonito flakes. These give dishes a really nice umami flavor. You can get it all different ways. You can get it in packets, you can get it dried, you can get it in like concentrated liquid form, and it's actually quite easy to make at home on your own. And number seven is ponzu. Ponzu contains citrus juice of sudachi, yuzu, and kabosu, along with vinegar, and more commonly now, soy sauce and dashi. It has a really refreshing and citrusy taste and is often used for dipping sauce or as dressings. And lastly, number eight is sesame oil. This one is not used as much, but it is used quite often. It is made from roasted and crushed sesame seeds and has a really nice, rich flavor. In Japanese cuisine, it is often used in salad dressings or for sautéing. Okay, so I hope that gives you a little bit more of insight into the most commonly used Japanese condiments. If you are looking for them, if you live in Japan, obviously you could find them absolutely anywhere. If you live somewhere that has a Japanese market in the area or even just an Asian market, they usually carry the products. And for those of you that don't live close to anything, I'm gonna try to find some like on Amazon or something, and I'm gonna link them in the description. If you are interested in cooking Japanese food or having Japanese recipes, head to my Instagram account. I do post a lot of Japanese food, info about Japanese food, and also a lot of recipes. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Matane!